What would you do if the president sits down next to you at a basketball game? Let's say you're there at Duke and you're courtside and you're just Jimmy Lipper and you got these tickets and maybe these are your season tickets and it looked like the guy next to uh, President Obama was just a regular guy to his left. But imagine if the president sits down. Do you say something or do you wait for him to say something? We, we were wondering that last night. Like, what is protocol? What is decorum? Because I would just acknowledge with a, hi, Mr. President. A cool head nod? Yeah, and that'd be it. That I, I would just start there, and then I would want to see if he says something. Because you're going to find out right away he either wants to talk or he doesn't. Yeah, Fritzy. I'd probably wait like a minute or two just to see if there's any kind of interaction or acknowledgement of any kind. And then I would probably extend my hand and say, you know, how are you, Mr. President? It's it's great to meet you and uh, hope that he would just you know, shake my hand and just kind of get that awkwardness over with. I can't imagine sitting next to the president or any president and just like look forward and not acknowledge or try to say hi or shake his hand the entire game. Yeah, Paul. Can you imagine President Obama being stuck next to Fritzy for two oh and a half hours? God. So on Air Force One, do you have your own commode? What do you do there? Is yeah. it your own presidential commode? Yeah. Do you, what's the mileage on that plane? I would have a lot of questions, but he would probably change his seat very quickly. Uh, how long did it take you to fly? And how long did it take you to get from the airport? Uh, did you fly private? Uh, yeah, Paul. I, I think I would be not intimidated, but I would think to myself, boy, I sure would like to talk to President Obama or any current or former president. And I think I would shut my mouth and look forward, and I would never be actually thinking about the game. I'd be thinking about him next to me. And I would hope that he engaged me at some point, like, oh, did you see that dunk? And then I could have a two-second conversation. I would be so worried that I would ruin his night by having a conversation with him that I would probably say nothing. Well, I would be in a in a little bit more of an advantageous position. You're a guy he would he, recognize. He, yeah. So I, let's I, say you're a civilian. Because I might say to him, are we going to talk all night here? I mean, can I just watch the game? Are you got White Sox bullpen he's going to ask you about? Yeah, stuff. like president. All right. One more question, and then that's it. And then let's watch the game, okay? Hey, while you're up, can you get me a beer? Be weird, too, because you like to talk trash. You know, like, when you'd be like, yeah, I'm like the Bobby Knight of this or whatever. You're like, yeah, I'm like the John Boehner right now of, uh, okay. yeah, trying to get in his head. No. Yeah. John, yeah, that's right. Yeah, I'm like. John Boehner. Veto this. No. Yeah. <laughs> Remember I asked Billis yesterday, could you take Obama playing basketball? Yeah, of I'm course. I Newt Gingrich right now, <laughs> punk. Okay, but, but how would it work? I, I'm fascinated by presidential etiquette. If, if President Obama last night said, I, I got to go to the bathroom. It's, you know, eight minutes left in the, in the second half. How many people are walking with him? The people in the bathroom, do they have to exit the bathroom? Do they clear the bathroom? Mm. Or does he have to hold it because no, going they, to the bathroom is a process? No, he's got probably a, a special place where he can go. Wait, would they installed one at Cameron Indoor for well, him? I'm sure they have private bathrooms there. Not everything's public there. But, but how do you get I don't to think the, Coach K goes to the public one. Sure. So he uses <laughs> he's the, at the Coach urinal? K mode? Yeah, I would imagine. So he gets his own Oval Office to press there? That's pretty nice. Nice. Uh, Dan, I'll be right back. I got to take a whiz. <laughs> Do what? <laughs> but if he's hungry, does does he call the Secret Service? Because the Secret Service job isn't to get snacks. Does no, he have a guy? The, the Secret Service job is to do whatever the president needs. I don't know if that's true. I, I think their job is not to, uh, like, you know, get him popcorn and a beer. Is there a guy? Yes, because they if you don't get it, he has to get it, and then everybody has to go with him to get it. But you can't leave the president and say, hey, I'm going to go get uh, some snacks yeah, there's leave six, the president unattended? No, there's six guys. Oh, okay. Like when President Clinton and Hillary came to the play in New York, there were six guys there. They didn't, during intermission, they didn't get up. Why don't you go get me a bratwurst, buddy? To go get snacks. But uh, Chelsea Clinton, she did. She walked up. Um, I guess there was security around her. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.